<laughs> calm down, calm down. Come here, have a seat. You know what, Effie? I'm going to tell you a story. It is a tale about knights, wicked creatures, hope, redemption, and above all, magic. A long time ago, so long ago that I can barely remember, there was a young man called Ganon, who had been gifted with great strength. One day, a girl knocked on his door asking for help, as her cart had broken down in the nearby forest. Ganon, however, was extremely lazy, so he lied to her and told her there was nothing he could do about it. No, not now. The young girl, however, was a powerful witch, and she cursed <laughs> Ganon, who instantly turned into an old man. You don't know what you've got until it's gone, right? Ganon didn't know what to do, as he had never witnessed magic before. So he decided to visit the master, who lived at the top of the mountain. Perhaps he could undo the spell. <laughs> Much to his disappointment, though, the master was unable to do it. Hmm. However, the master also told him that the elder protectors, ancient ancestors who watched over kind-hearted souls, possessed the power to break the enchantment. Gallen was unsure whether he had a kind heart or not, but what were his options? He traveled relentlessly for days until he finally reached the temple of the Elder Protectors. There he was. When suddenly, the ground trembled beneath his feet. Nature was taking over the very corridor. He had to run for his life! Roots shot up from the very ground itself, and Galland was forced to take a leap of faith. And he succeeded! He could hardly believe his luck, but now he had to just climb up. He had taken a hit and a tumble, but he survived the fall. This was the beginning of his magical adventure. The rune stones apparently strengthened Galland. They endowed him with vitality, power, and even wisdom. It was like a taste of you. was not on Galen's side. He had to find the Elder Protectors before it was too late. The temple had to be brimming with secrets, left behind by its old constructors.
Ryan felt an urge within him. There. Those were the statues of the Elder Protectors. Gallant had to reach the center of the hall. But how? Our hero tread upon a strange tile on the floor, and it activated a mechanism in the door. and felt much better now. He had found the Elder Protectors. At last, he would recover his youth. We have been watching you for some time, Gallant. We know why you are here. You want to recover your lost years. 
and we could give them back to you. However, we don't know if you have a kind heart. So you will have to prove your worth. A great evil has fallen over the Red Plains of Oplana. It's Melira the Witch. She was the one who cursed you. Put an end to her evil and return Oblana to its dwellers. In order to do so, you'll need to cleanse the power from the gems of evil. After that, the cities will be free once more. The Elder Protector had been clear. Melira, the gems of evil, and all their dark power had to be destroyed. To aid you in your quest, we have created a special shield for you. If you have a pure heart, Runestone will accept you, guide you, and become a part of you. Now go, and enjoy your adventure. Suddenly, everything started trembling again, and the roots reappeared inside the temple. The wicked Malira was attacking the temple. But this time, Galland had a shield to protect him. <laughs> Galland realized he would need an extra boost. Would his shield be able to help him? Galen felt much better now. He wasn't sure of the reason, but his gut was telling him to take another leap of faith. An ambush. It was time to fight again. Oh, 
Garland felt much better now. and felt much better. and felt an urge within him.
an urge within him. felt much better now. Gallen felt much better. The other protectors were testing Gallen. He had to think. Galen needed a moment to start thinking straight. The map was lighting up. Yes, of course, old Gallant managed to open the door in his first try. Why would I lie to you? At that moment, a supernatural force compelled him to lift his sh- He had succeeded. Our hero had managed to escape from the temple. Now the Red Plains of Oblada lay ahead. It was an ambush. <laughs> Melira was summoning her demonic minions with a devilish cackle. Where are you headed, Grandpa? Whatever those old statues told you, it's a lie. Now you'll find. <laughs> 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 
that the end of your adventure is close. <laughs> Galen had to do away with Malira's minions, for they would certainly destroy him if given the chance. Lyra had fled, but the floor was still crumbling away. In that moment, time stood still. Garland needed a miracle. Then he realized, perhaps the shield would protect him from the fall just as it did before. Runestone knew what had to be done. It could feel the needs of Garland. When it felt Garland's feet upon it, it let its magic flow. And he succeeded! Galland had survived the fall, and was already surfing the red plains of Oblana. Galland had heard rumors about this place. It was a cursed region inhabited by the greatest of evils, and crawling with an assortment of wicked creatures. Runestone seemed to speed up when passing over the sources of power. And the more he overflew, the faster he went. An old, fortified city that once thrived on the production of corn, now lay abandoned, and perhaps invaded. Gallant knew to tread carefully. Old Gallant had lived his short life in a world without magic. However, even he could feel that the place was enchanted. It reminded him of a novel he had read in his youth with his master. It was about an old knight, just like him, who fought against fierce giants that in the end were nothing but windmills. Tales of chivalry, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 